How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 My NBA Rebuilding Challenge. We got our next Eastern Conference team that got eliminated from the playoffs and that is going to be the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, so we're going to be doing them, trying to rebuild them, win an NBA Finals in five seasons. Injuries, morale, chemistry, all that fun stuff. Trade rules are on. The only thing that's off is rule changes. Not meant to be realistic, and if we mispronounce these two names, we mispronounce these two names. Again, it's a video game at the end of the day. Do not take these seriously. I have to keep saying that. So, leave a like, subscribe, join the content, comment on this video. Go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you do like other content from me, TJP. With that all being said, let's get on with the gameplay. All right, so Brooklyn, interesting roster this team has. Um, we look at the team. Uh, we got Bridges, who probably be around here longer. Dinwiddie, Dennis Fitt Jr., two point guards, good Bridges, Thomas... Interesting piece. Uh, Whitehead. We got Whitehead. Uh, Cameron Johnson is pretty decent. Lonnie Walker. Dorian Finney-Smith. Uh, Royce O'Neal. Darius Baisley is on the squad. Also have uh, Noah Clowney. Nicholas Claxton. Ben Simmons is here. Uh, Trenton Wofford or Daron Sharp. So a lot of bigs. Not a lot of, of guards. Uh, but definitely an interesting roster. I will say that. It is a very, very interesting roster. Got to think about what exactly we want to do here, but we got a lot of guys that are kind of expiring. I mean, Claxton, I kind of want to keep around, but at the same time, I know he's going to be mad. The relations are just crazy in this game. And Cam Johnson, I guess he's somebody we can keep on the team. I'm trying to think who would be here long term. I know I want to get rid of Ben Simmons at some point. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are expiring. I mean, we should probably play like Royce O'Neal if we wanted to. I wonder what we could get for Ben Simmons. Just curious, curious to see like, what his trade value is right now. Like, if I wanted to get Fred Van Vliet, I could for Darius Baisley. I mean, that's not terrible. Doug McDermott, an, ex an expiring player. And we get a second-round pick. I might do that. I mean, Lou Dort's also pretty good from the Thunder and Mitchich. Um, that might be the trade to do. And we get rid of Darius Baisley. I mean, Darius Baisley is an interesting player, but we can send him back to OKC. We can get Mitchich and we get Lou Dort. I mean, that's solid. I think we do that as our first trade. The second trade now I want to do is now is that Royce O'Neal isn't expiring. Actually, we don't need to do that. Royce O'Neal's power forward. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so Ben Simmons is gone. We're not even giving Ben Simmons a chance to play on this team. So Lou Dort, uh, who's on a pretty solid contract, is going to be super helpful. It also frees up minutes then for Watford. Uh, so we look at the game plan here. So we have Dinwiddie, Bridges, Dort. So they want Cam Johnson being the six man. That's fine, I guess. I mean, technically, I guess he could play the four. Personally, I'd rather him play the four. Um, what would his overall go up to if I change it to just the power forward strictly? I would assume it goes up. Nope, I lied. It doesn't. Uh, no, his center is interesting. Uh, we'll just keep it at small forward to sort of the changes. Yeah, okay, so okay, it doesn't go up. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, I just want to double check, make sure I'm right. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, that's I think that's about it. I think we just keep the team as is for now. System proficiency is at four-star balance uh, with Jock Vaughn. Uh, do we have... how? What are our picks looking like? That's the scary part, right? We have no picks this year. We have our first. We have Scenic Suns first. Suns first in 2027. Swap with the Rockets. I mean, at least we have a you know, some later first. We could try to make a move for. Uh, I don't think we're going to be bad, bad, but I don't see us being that great. But let's find out. I guess we'll simulate and see what ends up happening this year. If you know, we'll have a little bit. Maybe we'll have a little bit more to play around with uh, in, the, in, in the off season. That's what I'm hoping for because we we might have a little bit of space to get like a decent player on this team. All right, so we're at the deadline. We're right now a playing team, nine seed. I mean, it's not a great record. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be great, but. I thought we could be a little bit better than this. But let's see the stats. Maybe we've had some injuries. Or maybe we're just bad. Who knows? Uh, is Claxton mad? Yep. Of course he is. He's always a he's aggro. Why is he aggro? I don't get it. Well, per game stats, Mikael Bridges has been great. 22.5 points per game. So on great efficiency. dimly has been solid. Uh, Cam Thomas is good. Cam Johnson's happy. Luke Dort's happy. So yeah, just Claxton that's not happy. Lonnie Walker's heated. Uh, from Wofford's upset. A lot of guys that it shouldn't really be upset that they are. Which is a little bit upsetting, but it is what it is. Uh, rebounding. Claxton's leading the way. 
nearly 12 a game. They would want for Johnson, assists, best facilitator, Spencer Dinwiddie, 5.8, 4.9 for Mitchich off the bench. In terms of steals, we had three guys used to steal a game. 2.6 block shots from Claxton is great. Just wish he wasn't aggro. Uh, most efficient score has been Claxton as well. Again, it's the tendencies, but you know, we don't change those. We don't touch those in these rebuilds. I really, I never touch them. Um, Bridges, our best three-point shooter, our best free throw shooter is, well, you guessed it, Mikhail Bridges. Which makes sense. Uh, there is one guy that I kind of want to go after. Don't think I can get him, but it would be interesting if I can. Can I get Jalen Brunson on this team? Because I would love that. Now, I don't think I could do Dinwiddie. Uh, could I do Dinwiddie? Whitehead, you can give me your worst player. I think we can get. I think we can get Jalen Brunson on this team. I'll give us. I'll give up a first. I'll give up two firsts, and we got Jalen Brunson. Okay, not to say that I don't like Dinwiddie, but uh, you know, having Jalen Brunson on the team's not too bad. So now Jalen Brunson going to be point guard. I'm going to actually eye him in free agency, uh, but and now we have him on the team, so it's perfect. So, that's, that's helpful. I don't know why the Knicks would really do The Knicks wouldn't do that, but that's okay. Not meant to be realistic, and that's the Knicks' problem. That's not my problem. But Jalen Brunson is now my new starting point guard, and we got Bridges at the shooting guard. So, that, that's nice. A little, little Villanova connection. Maybe a foreshadow to what I do with the Knicks. Who knows? I'm not going to tell you guys. Uh, <laughs> anyways, solid squad. I, I think that helps us a bit. Makes our team better. Um, and, you know, I don't know if I was going to sign. I mean, Dinwiddie was doing good. But we could still get Dinwiddie back, technically, in free agency if I really wanted to. I mean, maybe. Contract extensions, double check here. Rusty would want to re-sign on a minimum, maybe. Um, I'll sign him for the cheap in case I want to trade him. Okay, or not. Uh, we'll throw him... We'll throw him... We'll throw him an extra year deal. Yeah, okay. I don't want to give him... Yeah, I don't want to give him one year. All right, perfect. So that's going to be it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We'll see where we finish. All right, our team wasn't very good. 31-51, and 51, and we would finish the 12th seed. So bad season from us. Not a problem, though. Doncic MVP, Victor Rookie of the Year, 6 million, Chris Paul, Defensive Rookie, Giannis, most improved Paul Reed, Coach of the Year, oh, Clutch Player of the Year, Anthony Edwards, Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year, Tyler Jamison, Executive of the Year. Uh, here's your Bay first team, all Bay second team, and all Bay third team. No Brooklyn Nets, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we do have Nick Claxton, who's aggro. Not a surprise. Double-double on the season. 1.2 steals, 2.5 blocks. All defense the first team. And that's nice. I mean, it would be nice to re-sign him, but he's going to be mad. So I'll have to do the funny and try to do it through the player finder. Uh, we do have Mitchich on rookie second team, which is cool. Not sure if we'll keep him around or not. We'll see. But uh, good to know that he's there. Obviously, our team wasn't great. Didn't make the playoffs. So eh, it's all right. I mean, I think maybe next season we could try to add a couple pieces. But we do have some promising uh, promising players here. So Brunson and Bridges, obviously, are two guys that are pretty solid. Cam Thomas is also interesting. Uh, Cam Johnson was pretty good. Lou Dort, Nick Claxton is obviously aggravated. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Rebounding-wise, uh, Claxton led the team. Then we got Johnson and Watford, but he only played 44 games. In terms of assists, Mitchich and Brunson leading the way. Steals, we had Bridges... Uh, Johnson and Claxton, so three guys used to steal a game. Block shots, Claxton, two and a half blocks lead the team. Most prescription score was Jalen Brunson. Our best three-point shooter was Jalen Brunson. And our best three-third shooter was... Mikael Bridges. So that's good to see. All right. Love it. But I don't love the fact that we didn't make playoffs. But that's okay. We got four more seasons to go. We'll see what ends up happening next year. Try to make some improvements to the squad. Again, there's four, four more seasons to go. We got John ja Morant. And the Grizzlies versus James Harden and the Sixers. James Harden's not going to be on the Sixers. But if he is, I guess he's going to win the championship, win the finals. Funny stuff, man. Funny stuff. All right, let's go on to the offseason. So our pick that was uh, that we were supposed to have, but we traded to the Rockets, ended up jumping up to three. It was at number four and jumped up to three, of course. Um, okay, not a big deal. We don't have any picks. So not really going to be doing much in the draft. I actually don't mind this trade with the Thunder. Again, I'm going to do another trade with the Thunder. Uh, we get Jalen Williams and Trey Mann for Clowney and Dorian Finney-Smith. Save a little cap, get younger, guys, and a second-round pick. I mean, Clowney's young, but he's just not happy here. So, mostly freeing up money 
um, and getting some younger players in return. Should be helpful for us. As for the Mavericks, uh, we'll trade the second round pick in Mitchich away to get Dante Exum and a first round pick, lottery protected in 2026. Um, I don't know if I can trade Dante Exum. It probably won't let me. We'll see. Oh, it does let me. Okay. If I can get a pick for him, that'd be perfect. Two second rounders from the Pistons. I think that's our winner. Yep. And it's a second round pick this year that we're going to get. So, works for me. Uh, anybody else that we want to potentially move here? Yeah, Thomas, I'm fine with. All right, we guess Rish yeah, Royce O'Neal. Uh, if we get something for him. You get a first round pick from the Thunder. That might just do that. And just make a third trade with the Thunder in the video. I mean, we could also just get like Dean Wade in a second from Atlanta this year. Um, which I might do. And then I could think I could flip Dean Wade. Um, so I'll do that. I don't want to make another trade with the Thunder right now. So yeah, Dean Wade. And if I can get a pick for him. And yeah, the Knicks. Give me that Wizards pick back. Uh, again, the Thunder off me a first rounder. Um, but we'll just do this deal with the Knicks. So we'll do one more trade with the Knicks. There we go. Get a 2020 pick back. All right. So now we have a little bit more draft capital but not really that much i guess got some of it back a couple seconds trade away a couple seconds got a couple extra firsts all right cool um i mean we're just getting past the drafts doesn't really matter too much so just go to rookie signing uh don't want to take any of these guys so there you go uh team player options don't have any uh lebron's a free agent but i don't think i can afford him uh do we have any money probably yeah. not right uh, 35 mm. Mmm, we have a little bit of money to play around with. I mean, Drew Holiday would be a nice pickup. Uh, who's a free agent? I don't even know. Probably Claxton. Yeah, okay. Oh, we actually do have some money here to to maneuver with. I would love to get LeBron on this team. <laughs> Just because I can. I I might have to consider it. Uh, do we really go after a third on LeBron James? Like a Kawhi Leonard? I mean, can we get Paul George? Paul George for a season. He's probably going to go back to the Clippers. LeBron. LeBron's going to go to the Sixers, it looks like. So I don't think I can get him. Unless I trade away. I have to trade, like, Lou Dort away. Which I could do. I could swallow that. Lou Dort. If I get a picks for him, I wouldn't mind doing it. Um, Malachi Branham is interesting because he's young. Corey Kispert at first. Nah, I don't mind keeping Lou Dort. I, I, okay, I, I'll, I'll try to get maybe somebody else instead. So let, let me look around and uh, get back to you guys. All right, so essentially, um, Claxton walked. He didn't want to sign with us. I, I was like, that's fine. Um, I ended up using my money to get Pascal Siakam on the team. So I got Brunson, Siakam, and Bridges, which is pretty interesting. Although, I don't know why Bridges is salty, but he is. Still have Cam Johnson, still have Lou Dort. I picked, obviously, Trey Mann that's on that trade, Jalen Williams. Cam Thomas is still here. I picked up, Dor I re-signed Dorian Spinney-Smith. We still have Jaron Sharp. Uh, we got Torian Prince on the team, Cody Zeller, Aaron Holiday, Thaddeus Young, Terrence Ross, just to round out the team. Uh, so nothing too crazy, but uh, we'll see how this team does in our second season. Should be interesting. I'll see you guys once I'm there. All right, let's look at the roster for the second season. So... Brunson, Mann, and Holiday, your point guards, shooting guards, Bridges, Thomas, and Ross. Small forwards, Johnson, Dort, and Prince. Power forwards, Siakam, Finney, Smith, and Young. And we got our centers, Jalen Williams, Darren Sharp, and Cody Zeller. So pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. We'll see how this team does for this season. I'm excited. Uh, let's give you a starting rotation. Uh, looks okay on paper. Uh, Nine-man rotation is what we're running. Uh, I mean, I could run a 10 if I really wanted to. And I um, don't think I will, though. Uh, but let's see the system proficiency here to make sure that it's correct. Four-star balance looks okay to me. So let's see how this team does. I'm excited. Uh, do we have we do have a Rockets pick and a Suns pick. Sometimes the Suns are terrible, so this could be a lottery pick. Uh, obviously, this is a swap worse, though. A couple seconds this year. Um, should be fun. So let's uh, see what ends up happening. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Hopefully, we're decent. All right, so we're currently sitting at a 10 seed right now. Not that great. Wanted to be better, but we're not really there. Uh, so we are struggling a bit. Let's see what's happening here. I mean, look at the stats. Brunson's leading the way in scoring. We got Siakam. Bridges is salty for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but um, a little bit confusing. We got about uh, seven guys having double figures right now. Ten guys. 
uh, no, five guys, uh, two guys at least averaging 20. Um, Jalen Williams is heated, okay. A lot of these guys are heated, 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 heated. Everybody's mad. Siakam, 8.1 rebounds lead the team. They got 8 from Sharp. Williams is 7 assists. 5.6 from Siakam, 5.1 from Brunson. Steals, two guys lose to steal a game. Block shots, got two guys lose to block shot. Sharp with 1.5. Most efficient scores has been Brunson. Uh, most efficient three-point shooter has been Brunson. And the best free throw shooter has been Mikael Bridges. I mean, Alan Holland is 1,000%, but he hasn't shot much because he hasn't played much. I mean, we can look around, maybe make some minor moves. I mean, I'm not trading away Bridges. I mean, Williams is mad. I don't know why. Uh, Williams and Prince, what could that get me? Maybe Willard Heron Gomez if I really wanted it, but Leak Monk is interesting. On a minimum, Thomas Bryant, but I don't want to trade my first round pick. Uh, Malachi Branham is not bad too, but I don't want that. I would want a center. I mean Jaden Hardy Jaden Hardy's interesting. Jaden Hardy and a first from Dallas is interesting. Uh, Zaire Williams in a first from the Grizzlies is also interesting. We haven't traded for Zaire Williams yet. We had Sarich, which would be a center, and we got a first round pick. Uh, I guess we could do that. We could do, we could do this one with the Celtics. Get Sarich. I mean, Jalen Williams is not going to be happy. He's just. He still might resign, but not before. I, I mean, he's got another year. I, I think we wait. I think we wait it out. Maybe he'll, he'll, his attitude will change. Uh, but Prince, we can move, though. Let's see what I could just get for Prince. We need a first round pick from the Bucks. Uh, we can do this, get Kendrick Williams from the Cavs at a first. Uh, if I trade away Thad Young, I don't really need Thad Young. So we'll, we'll take a first round pick and Kendrick Williams. And we'll just sign somebody in free agency. I think that works for us. Uh, yeah, we just sign a small forward. Let me just see the pick situation here. So the swap worse than the Suns unprotected. Uh, not crazy value. Not crazy value. Okay. Not a big deal. All right. Let's sign a free agent. Small forward. I don't know what small forwards are out there that we can afford. Uh, 8.76 million for Josh Koji. We'll give him a we'll give him a four-year deal. All right. Here we go. Josh Koji on my squad. Love it. Um, so Josh Koji, welcome to the team. Uh, that's cool. It'll be a, a backup small forward for us, which is perfect. Curious to see the contract extensions right now. Who's up? So Brunson, Bridges, they want to test. Brunson's going to definitely test. We're trying to get him back. All right, let's simulate to the end of the season. I hope we could be a playing team. And maybe from there we can make the playoffs and make a push. Ended up being a six seed, making the playoffs, 43 and 39. Nothing too crazy, but I, I'll take it. Improvement. Doncic MVP, Ron Holland, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, James Harden on the Thunder. That's kind of funny. Sixth Man of the Year. Throwback. Most uh, defense players are Jared Jackson, most Bruce Scoot. Zion, Clutch Player of the Year, exec, uh, Coach of the Year, JB Baker, Executive of the Year, Brandon Harrison. Uh, there's your All-NBA first team, your All-NBA second, and your All-NBA third. No nets on any of these teams, which makes sense. Actually, we have uh, Mikael Bridges, all defensive, and he's feeling fine, which is good. 15.6 points, uh, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, but you can see the defense, 1 block, 1.3 steals, and the good efficiency. We'll take it. And uh, no rookies, which makes sense. So yeah, we have the 60. Take on the Knicks, ironically. Isn't that funny? 43 and 39. So let's look at the stats. How do we do? Overall, not too bad. Siakam. So we got Brunson and Siakam averaging at least 20. Uh, we got 6 guys in double figures, nearly 7. Trey Man just jumped, uh, just dropped the point one point off. Overall, pretty solid. Everybody seems to be better, except for Jalen Williams. In terms of rebounding, Darren Sharp. And we got Siakam, Jalen Williams. In terms of assists, Siakam, Brunson, Mann, Bridges, Lou Dort. Two guys to steal a game. Two guys to block shot. Most efficient score was Brunson. Our best three-point shooter was... Also Brunson, and our best free throw shooter was Mikael Bridges, who played regular amount of time. So overall, not too bad. At least we're in the playoffs, which is fantastic. That is going to be the rotation for the playoffs, by the way. Looks pretty good on paper. And if we take a look at the team that we're going to be playing against, which is the Knicks, obviously we took Brunson away from them. Did they keep Dinwiddie? 
They did not. So Brett McBride, Grise, Barrett, Randall, Mitch Robinson, James Wiseman's on their team now. Josh Hart's off the bench on DiVincenzo. Unless Dim Whitty is still on the team. No, he's not. Okay, they didn't keep him. It's like maybe he got hurt. Still have Whitehead, though. All right, so Battle of New York. Game one is going to go to the Knicks as they win by seven. Game two will go to us as we win by four. We win game three. We do win game three by two points. We're up 2-1. We go up 3-1 as we win by two. Can we win in five? And we win in five. We take over New York and are in the second round to take on Atlanta, who almost uh, lost to the Sixers. And they don't have Trey Young because he's hurt. So they have Mike Conley, John DeMurray, Joe Griffin, Sadiq Bey, Kong was on their team, Valanciunas, Rui Hachimura, Bogdanovich, and Collins. Okay. But obviously Trey Young is not there. So we have a good chance to potentially beat the Hawks without Trey Young, and we do win game one by 25. Game two, we win again by eight. Can we win game three? We are up 3 0, and let's go to the fi uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Okay, we lose game four. Lose game five. Don't lose game six. Okay, 2K, you're making a lot of sense. 2K makes a lot of sense. All right, we're going to win game seven, because 2K doesn't make any sense. Trey Young's still not back, but somehow we're about to blow a 3 0 lead. That's some pretty embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. Please don't blow a 3 0 lead. Okay, first quarter goes to us. Second quarter is going to go to them. We need to have a really good third quarter here. Decent third. And we blew a 3-0 lead. Embarrassing for your Brooklyn Nets. Terrible. So we were up 3-0 and couldn't even get to the conference finals. Okay, game. That makes a lot of sense, too, okay? <sighs> Playoff stats. How'd we do? Uh, I mean, Bridges was really good. Siakam and Brunson. I mean, three guys averaged 20. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. I don't know what happened. I don't know how we blew a 3-0 lead. Should have been in the conference finals, but instead we were. It actually could have even made the finals. Uh, the Hawks are in the finals, I mean, because literally we would have played the eight-seeded friggin' things. I mean, granted, we'd probably get swept by the Thunder, though, as they win the finals. And Shea, Gilgis, Alexander wins finals every game. Promising that we got to the second round. Uh, probably should have got the conference finals. We'd have been happy if we did, but... It's all good. Uh, we got three more seasons to go, and uh, I'll say we performed pretty well. All right, so that uh, we have the Suns pick. If we could jump up to number one, that'd be the greatest thing ever. Instead, it goes down to 11. Shout out to the 2K lottery. Uh, we also have the Nets Houston pick. Uh, well, the Houston pick. So 11 and 23. So nothing too crazy there. But I'll take it. That's not too bad. So we could draft a couple of rookies at those spots or trade up, which I might do. Uh, so let's see here. Trade finder. Anybody here that I might want to move? A couple guys that we could potentially move. I think I'm going to move Williams. Uh, both Williams, actually. See what we can get for them. What if I threw in these Williams and pick 11? Uh, we get some decent players here, but nothing... That's mind-blowingly amazing. Um, I might try to propose a trade. Let me see what's out there. I traded uh, Kendrick Williams, Dorian Finney-Smith, and uh, Jalen Williams. Kendrick Williams, Jalen Williams, Dorian Finney-Smith, and a lottery protected first-round pick from the Mavericks to the Trailblazers. We got ourselves DeAndre Aiden. I wanted to get a better center, and we just did that. So that's fantastic. DeAndre Aiden, welcome to the squad. Uh... Cool stuff, cool stuff indeed. I like the squad now. So we still have our picks this year. We're going to go to the draft, and we'll just take whoever we can with pick 11, pick 23. Uh, Ian Jackson, uh, we're going to take him because he looks like he's pretty good. So Ian Jackson, welcome to the squad. Uh, we'll sim to our next pick. Um, sim to our next pick. Our next first rounder, at least. So pick 23, is anybody out there that's good? we would want uh i don't want to take another shooting guard trenton flowers i mean it's a whole bunch of shooting guards um there's uh team needs we could use another we could definitely use another power forward let's 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 pick out there prospect scouting oh no uh choose prospects I mean, Austin Noel, but uh, it's a bit of a reach. Uh, Amari Blue is also a bit of a reach. Uh, Curtis Mason. It's mostly just shooting guards. Okay. Trenton Flowers, Zakarski. You know what? We'll just take a risk. We'll go with Noel. 
we'll, we'll, we'll go we'll go a high, we'll go a little higher than we should with him, which is fine. Rookie signings, we'll sign them both. Um, we don't need these guys. So yeah, uh, team team options or player options. Yeah, so Jalen Brunson declined his, which makes sense. Uh, we're gonna try to get him back though. Qualifier Sharp, Thomas, and Man. We'll try to get both of all those guys out, and we'll have a little bit of money to play around. Now, I can't get. Can I get Giannis? Can't. Okay. I was like, I can't get Giannis. Can't get LeBron. Would be great if I could, but I can't. Uh, can't get any of these guys, really. So, that's totally fine. We're just going to get these guys back on the team and go on from there. So, we are at player progression here. We got Brunson, Siakam, Bridges, Aiton, Cameron Johnson. We got Trey Mann still on our team. We got Lou Dort still on our team. Cam Thomas resigned. Josh Koji's still here. We got Ian Jackson in the draft. Aaron Sharp's back. Uh, we've got Royce O'Neal back on the team. Jim Wofford's back on the team. TJ McConnell's here. Aaron Allison, well, we drafted. Overall, not too bad. Uh, I think our team could be pretty good this season. I think we can actually make the playoffs again. And maybe go a little bit further this time. Who knows? But I'll see you guys at the start of the third season. Look at the roster. Look at the rotations. And go on from there. So to start the third season... Brunson, Mann, and McConnell. We got Bridges, Thomas, and Jackson. Johnson, Dort, and Nikoji. Siakam, Royce O'Neal, and Austin Noel. And Aiton, Watford, and Sharp. It's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Now, let's look at the system proficiency and the, and the game plan. We got a nine-man rotation. Uh, Koji, Watford, Sharp, not getting minutes. So, we're a bit, uh, a bit flustered. I would like to run... Do I run? I mean, Ian Jackson, do what? They do want to get him run time over a Koji for sure. Do I run a 10 man and then put play Watt or do you know backups? It's tough to say. We got Frank Vogel as our coach, which is really good. Um, I'll go 10 man and, and run it a little bit less and see what that does for us for the regular season. Um, doesn't really give us a lot of depth. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of guys that play the secondary position, so it should be okay. Uh, our sister proficiency. With Vogel is four stars, grit and grind. Um, but we're gonna run it balanced because we're four and a half star on balanced. So we're gonna run it that way, and that should be good. So we'll see what happens this season. Um, I'm gonna make a trade and propose Brunson. I can't trade him. I was gonna do all my tra uh, my best players just for a second round pick, but I can't do that. Bridges, Aiton, Siakam. You get me Demonta Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox. That's all it could get me. See, Aquaman Aiden, what could that get me? That could literally get me Fox if I throw a first round pick in there. This game, man. This game. Is there anybody that I could reverse trade finder for that I would want? Like Halliburton? Or Zion? Or like Jaden Ivy? I could probably get Jaden Ivy. They would want Bridges. It, honestly, I can get. That's not a terrible trade. Huh. I get Claxton back. That's not a horrible trade. Jaden Ivey and Claxton. For Aiden Jackson, a first, is not that bad. This is also not that bad either. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hey, LeBron. Oh, I'd love to get LeBron. Can't get Jaden Green. Victor Wamanyama. No, can't get him. How do they have Evan Mobley? That's crazy that they got Evan Mobley. Okay. Cavs are... What are the Cavs doing? Oh. They know what they're doing. Oh, but they don't have... Uh, they don't have Donovan Mitchell, though. Did he go to the Knicks? No. I don't know where he went. Doesn't matter. Oh, there he is. He went to the Chicago Bulls. All right, cool. Let's just simulate see what happens. I'll we'll see you guys at the trade deadline. I seem to love being a play-in team by the trade deadline for some reason i mean it's not like we're doing awful awful but we definitely could be doing better but the granted we've had some injuries on and off people that have been hurt so maybe that's what it is uh, a lot of balance scoring as you could see um unfortunately jackson spinal injury should have traded for j90 okay well, it is what it is um fed up is dayron sharp dayron sharp is fed up i don't blame him He's not playing. Watford is probably a pass, too. But those are guys that we could trade in the offseason. Uh, Aiton, 10.4 rebounds a game, lead the team. Siak with 7.3. Sharp with 4.9. But he's only played nine games in terms of assist. Brunson, Siakam, Bridges, Mann, 
Luke Dort, who's on, I think, a team option. Then we got Bridges, Cam Johnson, in terms of block and steals, in terms of blocks. We got these guys, uh, DeAndre Aiden, lead the way one and a half blocks. Most of his scores also, DeAndre Aiden. Um, our three point shooting is Josh Koji. And the best free throw shooter is Bridges. Cam Thomas up there, Brunson, man. Okay, not too bad. Let's see the game plan. What do we got? Uh, who's getting minutes? Wofford's getting minutes. They're not getting a lot. Yarn Sharp is just on the reserves. Just not happy. I, I mean, we could treat him now. A lot of guys that I feel like we could look to move. I see Ian Jackson. I could wait, though. I could definitely wait. Yeah, we still have Brunson. We still got Johnson. We got Thomas here still. Hmm. Siakam is on also on a one-year deal. Bridge is on a one-year deal. I get Damian Lillard and James Harden. I can get Donovan Mitchell. Mm. I get Le LeBron in the trade finder. LeBronto. Nice. Okay. Actually, let me let me try something. If I go to the trade finder, I go to the, I go to the Raptors. Can I get LeBron without having to give up Bridges or Brunson? I don't think. Wow, two and a half star value. I wouldn't mind LeBron. Uh, eh, no, we don't need it. He was also in San Antonio. He played with Victor. Nice. All right. Well, we're not gonna make any trades. I think we'll wait till the off season to make some moves. Should be pretty interesting. I'll see you guys at the uh, end of the season. Uh, we'll just try to make the playoffs again. All right, MVP Jokic, uh, Cooper flagged him in the Rookie of the Year. Thompson, six man of the year. Don't he goes to AD, most proved DJ Wagner. Donovan Mitchell, clutch play of the year. Mark Denal, coach of the year. Exactly, he goes to Joseph Jackson. Okay, so do we have any nets? We don't on any of these teams. Crazy. Uh, but we were the three seed this time around. Taking on Charlotte. Uh, it was very tight. Very, very tight. Three through six. I mean, we're not really like a true, true three seed, but it was tight. I mean, this entire... We're five games separating the one through eight. And let's just see the entire standings for the East. I mean, the East was very tightly packed from... Yeah, I mean, really all the, all the teams from one through 11. Eight games back with the Bulls. Um, just... Just three games separated uh, us from a, being a, the play-in team. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, absolutely quiet. Well, actually, yeah, two games, really. In the next super tight, super tight season. So let's look at the stats. So who led the way? Uh, Brunson led the way in scoring. Then we had Siakam. We have Aiton, Bridges, uh, Cam Thomas, and then Cameron Johnson. So six guys averaging double figures. In terms of rebounding, we got ourselves DeAndre Aiden. Then we got Siakam and Sharp. In terms of assists, Brunson, Siakam, Trey Mann. Uh, steals per game, two guys like Steel Bridges, Cam Johnson. You got your block shots, two guys with block shot, although Sharp didn't really play. Field goal percentage goes to Aiden. Then we got Brunson, Siakam, and all that fun stuff. Most efficient three-point shooter was Cameron Johnson. Uh, as well as Brunson and Bridges. Koji's up there as well. Cam Thomas is up there. Best free throw shooter was Mikael Bridges. And then we have uh, Cam Thomas, Jim Brunson, Cam Johnson, all that fun stuff. Okay. So in the playoffs, we got the Hornets. I mean, again, they're a six seed, but at the same time, it's they're really not a true six seed. I mean, we're not really a six seed. They're not really a three seed. It's, it's all close. You know, it's all relative. We got Paul George on their team now, which is kind of cool. Uh, they have a good squad. We'll see what happens here against uh, against them. Uh, we're going to run a nine-man, I think, this time around. So we'll go to that game plan and adjust to run a nine-man. We'll cut it down and we'll use the bench a little bit more. We'll cut it down, get our starters a little bit more minutes. That means uh, Jackson will not be getting minutes in the playoffs, which is fine because the dude didn't uh, play too much. So, yeah. All right, game one is a charlotte win by 13 okay game two is another charlotte win by six and we're gonna get swept 
So, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense, 2K. No injuries, but it looks like we can get swept. Okay, we didn't get swept. Can we win another game? Can we win three games? Okay, let's go. We came back from 3-0 lead. All right. Didn't even simcast. It's crazy. All right, usually I simcast those, but I'm glad I didn't. Because you know what? I have bad luck with simcast. So we got the Miami Heat. We got Capella and Turner and Bam. Okay, Jimmy, Tyler Hero, Marco Jackson. Very interesting squad. A lot of bigs. A lot of bigs. So let's see if we can beat Miami. Uh, so we'll send the round here. Game one goes to us. We got 1 0. Can we go up 2 0? We can. Can we go up 3 0? No. Can we win, go, win game four? Yes. Please win in five. Please win in six. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Don't blow a 3-1 lead. We came back down for 3-0 lead, and then we were up 3-1. Now we might blow a 3-1 lead. Okay. Please don't blow a 3-1 lead. Please, 2K. I right, the home. We're the away team in a horrible first quarter, a horrible second quarter, and a horrible... Yep, we're getting blown out. We're getting blown out. Another choke job for the Nets. 32-point victory. Okay. Uh, that's two seasons in a row where we should have been in, this, in, the, in the conference finals. There's uh, maybe should play off stats. A lot of balance. I, th I just think we need a star. I think there's a guy I want to go after. It's Zion, and we got Tyler Hero. The Heat in the finals versus the Pelicans, and the Heat win. Swept. Okay, Tyler Hero, finals MVP. I guess, I guess we lost to the eventual f champs, but still. I guess because they have all those big men. Shout out rebounding. All right, I'm going to go to free agency. There's some... We have money, but at the same time, we don't have money. But I'm going to look around. I, I, I'm i curious to see what I could do here. Give me give me one second to see what we could do. We're going to make a couple of trades for up some money, but also I'm going to try to see if we can get some signings. All right, so we didn't have anything in the draft. I mean, I might just skim past it. I mean, I don't think we have any picks at all. So it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I do want to make a trade. Um, I do want to get Bridges back at some point. But yeah, I mean, we have money. I mean, we do have money. Sharp, we can move for sure. Noel is happy, which I think is fine. But yeah, we can move Sharp. We can move Watford, I think. He's actually happy now, surprisingly. What could they get me, though? Here's Lever. We could just get two picks from Chicago. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, so we had two picks there. And then that's good. Uh, what else can we do here to free up more money? Uh, Man and Dort. Thomas, a Koji. What could a Koji, Lou, Dort, and Trey Man get me? Hunter and Russell. Does that make, is that a big improvement? Not really. And it doesn't really free up money, so... Not quite what I'm looking for. I, I guess, in other words, I want to sign. I want to re. I wanted to try to get a free agent, but it doesn't look like I'm actually going to get one. Without. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, maybe I could trade them separately. Maybe get a, another first round pick. Get two picks from the Spurs. Atlanta and San Antonio unprotected for man. Trade them back to the Spurs. That would free up money. I just would have to renounce the rights on those players. I just don't know if I can get all of them back with the hard cap. Technically, I'd have their... Because the two game of 2K might glitch out. But I, I have to guarantee myself that I can get this said player that I'm looking for, for, for to getting. So let, let, me, let me see. I'm going to head on to free agency. Uh, and we'll think about what needs to be done here. We don't have player options. And qualifiers we don't have. So, Doncic is the guy I'm thinking about. Now, Clippers, Warriors, Hawks, and Mavericks. Not quite there. I mean, Curry would also be great. Curry, I might actually be able to get. I might legitimately be able to get Curry. Hold on. Let, let me see if I get Steph Curry without even, like, having to work hard. Because I, I actually think I can make that a thing. Um, so we'll trade Trey Man for the Spurs. Oh, they want to give me unprotected. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a first round pick in a second. That's fine. 
Uh, can I still get Curry? Part of me wants to get Curry. Part of me wants to get Stephen Curry for the season. Hmm. Let's see. Anybody else I want to trade? I never really get Curry. Curry would be helpful. Like a Koji Noel. Would that get me a pick? And get me Grant Williams in a pick. It's a pretty good pick, too, but I don't really want Grant Williams. Unless I could flip then Grant Williams, but I don't think I can. Here's Trent Jr. What if I just trade a Koji away? Get two picks from the Bucks. It's a lot of picks. We do pick with the Jazz. All right, we'll, we'll do this deal. We can do this deal with the Bucks. Trading with a little bit of depth, I know. Uh, but that does free up more money. All right, I'm going to try to get Curry. Is I think I can get I think I can get Steph Curry on this team. So we'll throw him a contract. Three year deal. Uh I mean I can offer Luca, but yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright. Now I I'm gonna bank on the fact that I can get at least one of these guys back. I need to get Bridges back. I need to get Bridges back. Okay, let me let me let me think about this. Let me think about this. Give me one sec. I think I could also trade for him to get him back too. We'll All right, I'm gonna do this deal with the uh, with the Jazz here. I'm gonna trade with Lou Dort, Noel. We're gonna get back picks. We're doing some swaps. Um. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that trade there with the Jazz. I, I, I'm going to try to get Bridges back because um, I kind of need him back. But if I can, I guess I could theoretically trade for him back. <sighs> we did get Curry, though. I know that. Uh, but let, let me let me see if I could do this here. So if I search Bridges, can I get him back? Is it going to let me get him back? See, it's doing that thing where it, like, it doesn't work. Yeah, he's going to decline. Shit. Okay. Um, let me go to free agency. Hold on a minute. Can I get can I get Aiden back? See, I can get Aiden back. Like, it lets me get Aiden. I can't get Bridges, but I can get Aiden. I'm going to try. I I'm going to try to see because I have hard cap on some of those players. So let me, let me see what I can do. All right. So we're in a bit of a, bit of a limbo here. I know I have Curry, which is cool. Brunson, Aiton, Johnson. We got Dean Jackson still, Cam Thomas, Kyle Anderson, Cameron Payne, Royce O'Neal, Terrence Davis, TJ Warren, Thomas Bryan, Dorian Finney Smith, Jock Landale, Bogdanovich on the team. Um, I lost out Siakam. I wanted to get Siakam back on the team. Would have been great if we had Siakam. We don't. But I need to get Bridges back. So, I'm going to try to get him back on the team. And the way I'm going to do that is for training for him. It's like, and then it's like he was, he's never left. I don't know where he is though. What team he's actually on. Oh, they both went to the freaking Warriors. Ah, oh, okay. What a joke. All right. All right. So I'll, I'll have to try to make a trade with the Warriors. Uh, so let me, let me advance. I might just turn off the setting just so I can make the trade with them. Cause I, I, I want to get Bridges back and I'll just pretend that it was like a trade. So let, let, let me simulate. I'll see you guys once in a minute. All right. I traded away Aiden and Jackson. I got back Mikhail Bridges. I need to get Bridges back. So I traded away Aiden. It's fine. I'm a little bit pissed because I wanted Aiden on my team. I wanted Siakam to stay on my team. Didn't get either of those guys to stay on my team. But I did get Bridges back. I need to get Bridges back because of the thumbnail. So eh, I'm going to turn off that, that thing now. And I gave, I gave them a, a great deal anyway. So it's cool. Um, so we're gonna turn that back off now. Uh, cheating, maybe, but not really, because I actually technically got worse by doing that. Um, but you can see the roster there. So now we don't have a center. Curry, Brunson, Payne, Bridges, Thomas, and Bogdanovich, Cam Johnson, Davis, and Warren, and then we get Anderson, O'Neal, and Finney Smith, and then Brian and Landale. Our team sucks at our front uh, at the front line. Absolutely terrible. Um. You know what? Probably signing Curry was not my best decision, but you know what? Uh, 
I'll take the rest. It's worth the risk. I was thinking Vucevic on the minimum, but probably not. Turner would be great on the minimum too, but it's not gonna let me do that. Centers. Any centers that we could sign to just fill out the rest of the roster? Ben Simmons. No. Okay. Just trying to get another center. That's not terrible. Like, too terrible. But it's looking like I'm gonna have to sign somebody that's not good. You're at seven. All right. Cool. So our team is pretty bad on the front court without Siakam and Naden. I mean, Cur having Curry school, um, personally, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the ro I'm gonna change the roster up. We're gonna make Bridges a small forward. Uh, we're gonna make him a small forward. So let's do that. Bridges, small forward. He goes up to an 88. Cam Johnson, we're going to make him a power forward. And that'll be our starting five. So Brunson is now going to be our starting shooting guard. Uh, it's going to be a small lineup. Um, still would rather have Cam Johnson start. Um, and then we'll give the minutes here to Cam Thomas. Um... Uh, which is fine. Or Cam, yeah, Cam Thomas. So, yeah. All right. I mean, it's not, I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with the lineup, but I don't hate it. Uh, actually curious to see if Curry would go up as a shooting guard. He doesn't. Brunson stays the same. So, uh, for the most part. So, you know, we'll make Brunson a shooting guard. Uh, it, this is a risk. It's a small backcourt. The front court isn't good, and yeah, it's, like I said, it's a bit of a risk, but we're going to run it and see what happens. We're going to see what happens with the team. Having a, I mean, we do have a superstar in Curry, so it should be interesting. We'll see how this team does. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. All right, 24 and 26 at the deadline, which, again, it's just not great, but let's see the stats. Curry's hurt. Broken left rest. Ah, you hate to see that. He was torn 25 a game pretty impressive uh brunson thomas uh Mikael bridges is triggered of course i mean not a surprise there your seven's pumped i mean that's cool cam johnson is static um i mean less scoring on the team like less great players so it allows curry brunson thomas and bridges to be four guys averaging above 17 a game uh which is cool i guess uh, rebounding wise, you're at seven. Landale and Bryant re assist. We got Brunson, Anderson, which is pretty impressive. Curry, 44 games. We got three guys least to steal a game. Uh, nobody with a block over a block shot. Most efficient scorer has been, uh, I guess, Curry. Uh, he's probably in a 50 40 90 season before he went down with that injury. 50 50 90. Okay. It's even better. <laughs> uh, that's cool to see. Uh, I don't know why Brid Bridges is triggered, but. So obviously I can't make any trades, but we have a, wow. I didn't realize how much picks we have. Holy moly. We got a lot of picks. That I will say. Now we could really add to the depth of this team this season. If we really wanted to. If we really wanted to. Um, let me, let's, let's look around. So some of these picks that we have are really decent. So I don't want to trade them. The Bulls one I could trade. The Hawks one I'm not trading. The Suns one I'm not trading. The Timberwolves one I could trade. The Chicago one I can trade. I could maybe trade the Lakers one. Uh, the Tim uh, the Sixers one, I'm not trading. Okay, so there's like a bunch of ones that I'm gonna risk keeping for the off season and hoping that they could become really good because wow, are some of those picks really good. I mean, we could trade finer them. Like, the Sixer, the Sixers pick, the Timberwolves pick, I think it was, and the Cavs pick. I don't even know. Oh, Brandon Mil Brandon Miller would be really good. I'm not training Cam Thomas, why? Can't. Um, Ace Bailey would be cool, but yeah, get on training with Cam Thomas. Can't trade Cam Johnson. Could get Ian Johnson back and do a swap. That's not terrible. Brandon Miller would be a hell of a pickup, but. I uh, wouldn't do it. I can't do it. All right, let me see if I can try to find a couple of trades with some of the lower picks. All 
Like this one, for example, with Detroit. I'll do this one to get Malik Monk for this season. We get an extra second round pick. We trade with Bogdanovich. That'll bolster up our team a bit. Like, I'll do this one with the Nuggets. Get a future first in 2031. Top three protecting the future second. All right, I'll do this deal here with the uh, Pelicans to get Filipkowski, McCarthy, and a second round pick this year. I'm going to trade two picks. Kyle Anderson, a second round pick, and TJ Warren. So, we really need to get a better center here with the Pelicans. Uh, so, now our game plan has us with the campaign, obviously, because, you know, uh, Curry's hurt. But, uh, you know, it, it bolsters up our bench. Monks bolsters up our bench. Filipkowski will help us out that center spot, young guy. Let's see how this team does the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right. So, Luka, MVP, Chip Flowers, rookie of the year. Six million goes to Isaiah Evans. Defense for their victor. Most for Ian Jackson, of course. Trade him away and he wins. I mean, it makes sense because he got way more time. Stephen Curry, clutch player of the year. So, that's cool. Uh, Greg Popovich, coach of the year, executive Aaron Phillips. Uh, there's your all first team, all bay second team, and all bay third team. No nets on any of these teams. No nets. Okay. So, we were the three seed, though. Again, taking the Pacers this time around. 47-35, again, really tight, though. And they had the same record as barely missing out. I mean, it, again, another extremely close Eastern Conference. Uh, we look at the player, player stats here. Curry led the way, 22. We have Brunson, Thomas, Bridges, who's triggered. Uh, Philip Kowski with 16 as well, 14 for Monk. So, great to see there. Everybody else on the team seems happy. In terms of rebounding, Filipkowski, you're at 7. Jock Landale, Brian's up there as well. In terms of assists, Brunson, Curry, Monk. Steals game, we had 3 guys to steal a game. Uh, fought Kyle Filipkowski, 1.7 blocks per game. Uh, most efficient score was, uh, well, a regular amount of PT was Curry. 50.3%. 50 Best 3-point shooter was the legend himself, Curry. We had a 50-40-90. Fantastic. And he's age 39 season. Clutch player of the year, Stephen Curry. Then we had Mikael Bridges up there, 91%. Or almost 92%. Cam Thomas, almost 91%. He died from Brunson. 87 from Cam Johnson. Uh, which is cool. Cool, 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 cool. So let's see here. Here's the rotation for the playoffs. It's going to just look just like that. Love it. And, yeah, let's sim the play-in. Obviously, you saw there, taking on the Pacers. Halliburton, Davis, Middleton, Walker. You got Franz Wagner coming off the bench. They have Franz Wagner. Oh, God. Okay. Franz Wagner's coming off the bench. So is Brandon Ingram. And they have, they have Isaiah Collier. The guy I'm scared of. I just He's the secret weapon, man. But he's not really a secret. All right, well, let's see if we can beat them. Game one, we somehow win by 21. Game two, they win by eight. Can they win game three? We win game three. Can we win game four? We win game four. Let's win in five. Let's win in six. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K! How many leads are we going to blow? Come on, man. Yeah, Tom's coming off the bench. They want Royce O'Neal starting. Okay. Ah, 2K. Please. All right. Quarter one, we get the job done. Quarter two is absolutely terrible. Not the best third. And ladies and gentlemen, we blow another 3-1 lead. Shout out to 2K, man. It's so realistic. We've blown a 3-0 lead, a 3-1 lead, a 3-1 lead. How many leads are we going to blow, guys? It's just terrible. Oh, man. At, the, at some point, it doesn't even matter who we have. Like, it's just the sim. The sim, man. All right. Well, again, uh, we got a fifth and final season coming up. We just got to stop blowing leads. Uh, that's the problem. Um, you see the stats, the playoffs. Monk wasn't that great. Cam, t Cam Johnson wasn't that great, efficiency-wise. All right. Let's just see wins. We got to go on to the fifth and final season. We got to make a lot of moves, man. Thunder versus the Pacers, and the Thunder win, SGA Finals MVP. Well, this is going to be exciting, because we have a lot of picks. Um, four picks in the lottery. You know we're not going to win the lottery. There's no way. Philly, Phoenix, Atlanta, 1, 3, 4, 9. 3, 4, 6, and 10. So we drop a lot. We also don't have any other picks. Okay, I thought we had maybe more. So we have... Three, four, six, and ten. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. 
Great, 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 great. That's it. Still, it's pretty good. That's still pretty good. So we're gonna see if we can do something in our fifth and final season. I'm not gonna make any draft selections, but we're gonna try to trade them. So let's see if we can maybe acquire a player. That'd be fantastic. Bingo, John Morant. Curry retired, so we traded away uh, Floyd. Five picks. We got ourselves John Morant. Could have got a center. But I will take John Morant. It's not like I'm not going to take him. I've never traded for him, so he's here. John Morant, welcome to the squad. That's a big pickup. I mean, I guess we could have... I mean, Cam Johnson played power forward. Philip Kowski is going to improve. Uh, but we, yeah, it's kind of annoying that we lost. So basically we lost... We had one season of Curry, but we lost Aiden Siakam. But at least we got John Morant. So I'm happy with that. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. All right, so I'm just going to skim past the draft. I'm going to save those picks. Oh, we're not going to take grids. I'm going to save those picks to trade away the minimum guys for guys at the deadline that sign minimums. That should be fun uh, because we're not going to get anybody on minimums. So, yeah, we're going to answer to team player options. So, if Gauss can accept, should be cool. Qualifiers, nobody. So, yeah, we're just going to just sign a bunch of guys. Get Victor on a, that kind of contract would be crazy. Uh, Lillard would be cool, but can't get Lillard on that kind of contract. Um, okay, I mean, that's fine. Uh, let's just get some guys to fill out the rest of the roster. Any bird rights on anybody? No, we're just going to fill out the rest of the roster with the uh, positions of need. So I'll do that, and I'll see you guys once I've got some offers on the table. Right, not a bad free agency. So obviously we have Ja, Brunson, Bridges, Filipkowski, Tyus Jones picked him up on a solid contract. Cam Thomas is still here. Cam John's still here. Brandon Clark on a minimum is nice. Uh, Zach Collins, it's Jonathan Isaac, Tim Hardaway Jr. is here. We got Chris Duarte on a decent deal. Shake Milton, Royce O'Neal's back. Dorian Finney's back. Not bad. And we saw picks for the for the trade deadline because you know there's going to be minimum guys that'll be out there. We throw two picks and a weak, a lower, not a, someone that's on the rotation, and we get an 80 overall. So I'm pretty happy with the team. I'll see you guys for the final season. I, I'm hoping that is this for the final season? Yeah, because we missed the playoffs in our first year. So yeah, fifth and final season. Let's see how we do. I just hope we can make the playoffs and not blow a 3-0 or a 3-1 lead. That would be so ideal too, okay? So, all right, fifth and final season. So, Ja, Tyus Jones, Shake Milton, Brunson, Thomas, and Duarte, Bridges, Isaac, and Hardaway Jr., Cam Johnson, Royce O'Neal, and Dorian Finney-Smith, Kyle Filipkowski, Brandon Clark, Zach Collins. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. I've seen better, but I've seen worse. And I think this team could be decent. Uh, again, it's a little small. It is a little small. But we'll, we'll see. We'll have to make it work somehow. But it is a short team. It is a short team. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty short team. I guess we could run Zach Collins back at five just so we have a little more size. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at nine, man. Uh, system proficiency. Under Frank Vogel, four-star balanced, which we're going to keep that way. Uh, Would have been cool if we saw Curry, but it's all good. Not a problem. Let's see how this team does. Rest of, I mean, John Morant's better at this point in his career anyway, so. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what happens. I'll see you guys the trade deadline. We'll make some moves then. Try to get some more depth for this day. 13-21 at the deadline. Six seed. Uh, we're we're tight. It's, it's close, but... It's better than what we usually do, but it's still not great. As great as I would want it to be. But, it, you know, John Rand's having a nice season. 25.7 points lead the team. We've got Jalen Brunson, Phil Gowski, Cam Thomas, Bridges is fine. We have five guys averaging over 15. One guy in the 20s. I mean, overall, it's not bad. Um, everybody seems to be happy, which is good. But we're going to try to get additional rotational pieces here. Leading rebounders, Phil Gowski, Morant, O'Neal, Clark is also there. We've got assists. We've got... Ja, Jalen Brunson, Derek Vinny Smith, Tash Jones, Steele's got two guys that steal a game. Although, Joey, actually, it's really Derek Vinny Smith's played much. Block shots, Phil Kowski, um, Mercy Neal, but he hasn't played much. Most fish scores from Brandon Clark, 56.6%. Three point shooting. We've got, I think Hardaway plays regularly. No, he doesn't. He's only played four games. Brunson. Uh, which is cool. Then our best free throw shooter has been Bridges. I know he plays regularly. Okay. Team's okay, but we can make it better with some more depth. I am going to trade some of these picks here, which might have value. This this swap best might have value. Uh, or it might not. It, it, might have, it might have value. It does have some value. 
Grady Dick would be great. DeAndre Hunter would be great from the Celtics. Jalen Hood, Shafino. Poku could use another center. Um, well, there's Vucevic from the Pacers. That would work. That's another center. Miles Turner's another center, too. Uh, with Portland. And trade away Doherty and Finney-Smith. Grady Dick is an interesting option. From Cleveland. DeAndre Hunter. Plus, we get a second. A Hunter. Mm, he's not having that great of a season. Jalen Shafino. From Memphis. We have to trade Zach Collins. I don't want to trade Zach Collins. Hey, Poku. From the Heat. Branham from Milton. Uh, how's Vooch doing? Not that great. Um, I think I'm going to take Miles Turner. Yeah, we need a center. So we'll go with him. Dorian Finney-Smith. Boom. That's trade number one. Trade number two. I think it's going to be that one. To get Zach Levine. Uh, yep. Pistons. I will take Zach Levine on the minimum. Why would I not do that? For Royce O'Neal. Yeah, the first. Beautiful. Trade number two is done. Let's do the Heat. We'll get Poku, but we're going to make him a power forward. Uh, so we'll do this deal with the Heat. We also get an extra pick, but I don't think I'm going to use that in trade. Uh, I'll do this deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Zach Collins, two picks in the second round. They're going to give us a second rounder in John Collins. I want John Collins to be our power forward. So now I'm going to make Poku a power forward. So that way we have four power forwards, or three power forwards out of four centers. So Poku, you will be a power forward now, my friend. And we will confirm the changes. So that gives us more size, which is helpful, and it gives us way more depth. Uh, John Collins actually started the power forward spot, which is perfect. Cam Johnson's not even getting minutes. We're gonna go 10 man rotation. We'll utilize that bench about 35. So that should be good, and it's much balanced, much more balanced. So I like the squad. Way more depth on the team. We'll see what happens here in the fifth and final season to end the end this video. I think this is our best team yet. Hopefully. Our best team yet of the video that is all right and we got a victor mvp timmy glover rookie of the year six million year liam mcneely that's why they're victor most proved liam mcneely luka clutch player of the year coach of the year greg popovich aaron phillips executive of the year you guys can see all nba first team john moran trade for the all nba first team performer john moran 25.9 points 6.8 rounds 9.4 assists uh, pretty solid efficiency as well yeah john moran excellent season from you my friend doing your thing out there love it uh any other nets no other nets and no other nets here no rookie nets either but we were the three seed again and this time though we were a lot better for three seed 53 and 29 day on the raptors who 50 wins still pretty good as a six seed let's look at the playoff stats here or player stats here rather not playoff yet so obviously job was our best score then we have brunson Bilipkowski, Bridges, Thomas, Levine, and Turner. So we had 12, uh, seven guys average at least 12 points a game in double figures. Uh, in terms of rebounding, our leading rebounder was Bilipkowski with 11, 7.5 from Turner, 6.8 from Brandt, 5.7 from uh, Collins, Clark 4.8, 4.8 from Boku. In terms of assists, Ja with 9.4, 5.1 from Brunson, Josh Jones 4.4, three guys at least to steal a game. Two guys lease a block shot. Turner with like 2.2. Actually, three guys lease a block shot. Turner had 2.2. Uh, most efficient score was Brandon Clark. 52 games, but he stopped playing after we made some more acquisitions. Then we get your three point shooting. Brunson, 50 40. And then uh, anybody 50 40 90? Nobody 50 40 90. Not too bad, though. Love it. All right. So here's the coach game plan. Boom. It's going to be that. We'll keep it at 10, man. Why not? Cam Johnson's not getting minutes. Clark's not getting minutes. I's not getting minutes. A lot of guys that could be getting minutes aren't getting minutes. But it's all good. So it's proficiency, four and a half balance. We're keeping it that way. And obviously we got the Raptors here in the first round. Let's see if we can get past them here. I'm looking at their team. I on paper, I feel like we're better. Um, it's tough to say, though. But I think we're better. Obviously, they have McNeely, who's pretty good. Uh, they have Sadiq Bay. Okay, they got a good team. Let's see. Game one goes to us by 10 points. Can we win game two? Yes. Can we win game three? No. Can we win game four? Yeah, okay. Not that I care that we're three, well, up 3 1 because we always blow leads, but we at least win in five. Let's go. Okay. Take on the Washington Wizards. So, a seven game series against the Knicks. Jalen Green and Ron Holland a nice dynamic duo. They get cool about it. Oh, wait. I didn't even see Cade. Wow. They got a big three. Okay. 
Cade, Green, and Holland is pretty filthy. Pretty filthy. Kwame Evans, Nurkic. I mean, this isn't that great. I mean, Kuba off the bench is solid. Do they have anybody that's hurt? Oh, they also have De'Aaron Fox somehow on this team, but he's hurt. It's a good team. It's definitely a good team. All right, well, let's see how we do against the Wizards. Game one's a win for them by 20. Game two, they win again. So we're down 2 out. Typical. Typical. Please don't get swept. We're going to get swept. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Kingdom get out of the second round. Should have been out of the second round twice, but because TBK doesn't know what they're doing, um, that's what happened. All right, we're just going to run a nine, man, and just see what happens. Give everybody our best minutes. <sighs> Got to come back down for 3-0 lead. Can we do it? I don't know if we can, but we're going to try. First quarter is not good. Second quarter is okay. And we're going to get blown out. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to get, us getting the second round. Plentiful amount of times and just getting swept there. But if it was us, we'd blow them through early. No one's UK. Uh, brother. We should have been out of the playoffs like five times. But it is what it is. It is what it is. How many three game, How many blown leads are we going to have in this video? It's, it's beyond me. Uh, we tried our best, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There you play off that. He's got to be curious. So who's going to win the finals? Probably Wizards. Uh, Wizards versus Pelicans. Cade versus Dylan Harper. And the Wizards win. Okay. Win in seven. Cade finals MVP. And that's probably without De'Aaron Fox, right? Was he hurt? No, he came back. Cade's coming off the bench. As a sixth man and winning finals MVP. Good for him. Good for him. Good for the Wizards. Who have a very interesting team. All right, I guess let's go to the full screen and close of the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment on this video. Go to socials, playlist, second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you do like other content, DJP. I think we've got our next team. The Clippers, I believe, is the next one. So we'll be doing them. That should be coming soon. Um, might slow down a bit on the 2K videos because I do want to try to finish up Madden. And I want to put out another uh, FIFA vi uh, ESP, EA Sports FC video. As well as uh, NHL, which could be starting soon. Probably... Saturday, Sunday. I don't know which way I'm going to start with NHL. I just got to get the game first. I still haven't gotten it, but we'll get it. I think it comes out soon. Did it come out already? I hope it didn't come out already. If I did, I'm late on it. Uh, NHL 24 release date. Um, oh, that shit came out the 6th? Oh, I'm very late. Okay. I got to get NHL. All right, I guess that's going to come out on Friday then. I am can't believe that this came out already. Unless it was early release. Um, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. All right. I owe you, I owe you guys. I owe you guys. Uh, I owe you guys NHL. I, I'm so late on that. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace.